y'all see it? Today I'm making some delicious, yummy, tender, juicy crabs in the oven, in a bag, keto style. Keep your weight down. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to share this recipe with y'all. There's a secret ingredient, so stay tuned for that. Save this video, share this video, hit that like button. Here we go. Hey everybody, Merry Christmas. I'm recording this on Christmas Day. This is my Christmas dinner. Unconventional, but yummy nonetheless. My name is Loretta, this is Home Fix, where I give you ideas to help get your home together. Today, I'm doing that from the inside out because I'm about to feed your tummy, give you a great idea to help keep your weight down while still enjoying the foods that you love. Who doesn't love them some good old crab? I know I do, but what I don't love is all of the calories attached to it to, you know. We're not trying to do that, we're trying to be cute in 2021. So I'm gonna give you my rendition of crab and a little spin on it, a little secret I'm gonna share with you, but share it with everybody. <laughs> Let me show you the seasonings. I'm reading from my list, y'all. Here we go. And all of these, the list of ingredients and measurements will be down in the description box for you. Smoked paprika, garlic powder, ground pepper, lemon pepper, chili powder, fresh Italian parsley, seasoning salt, Creole seasoning, Old Bay seasoning, of course. If you don't have the Old Bay, just put all the crabs away. Just put them back in the case. Pink salt and minced garlic. Now, let me know what you use to hook up your crab legs and how you make it special. My secret ingredient, it's coming. Do you like the list of my ingredients? Those seasonings sound good, right? Just wait until the end. Anyway, make sure you hit that subscribe button, comment, let me know what seasonings you add in, and hit that like button. If you're intrigued by my special ingredient, it's coming up next. I love me a good ham for Christmas time. Let me know what y'all had for dinner today for your special meal. Was it stuffing, dressing, you know, the traditional mac and cheese, potatoes, that kind of thing? Or did you do something different today? Did you switch it up? Let me know down in the comment section. We're gonna start off by adding some butter, two sticks of butter. I'm using the Kerrygold. This is gonna help make this the keto uh, friendly meal that you want. This is grass fed butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that on in. Over here in this pot is just some water filled halfway. I'm gonna go ahead and add some potatoes to get head start before I add it into the oven. Y'all ready for the secret ingredient? Here we go. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna use a dry champagne. So this is Andre Brut, fresh tasting with notes of pear and lemon. Yes, this is what we're going in with. Now, anything could work in regards to a lager, or a, a beer of some nature. But this is what I'm gonna use. Have I tried this particular flavor before? Nope. <laughs> so this will be so much fun. So I'm gonna use a half a cup and I'm gonna pour that into the butter off the fire, okay? Don't worry about this. If you're serving this to kids, it will burn, the liquor or the alcohol portion will burn off, so don't worry about it. It's not like your kids are gonna be drunk with wine or you, you won't. It'll be just fine, it's gonna burn off. See that? Look at that, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Pause for the calls. Mm. Smells really good. Mm. This is good. I would buy this, okay? Because it's it's kind of like a nice, light, sweet taste. Not sweet, sweet. Light, sweet taste. Okay? And no carbs. Keto friendly. Boom! Y'all see that doing this thing? All right, let's come on over here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut up a few sprigs, a few, I mean three sprigs of the parsley. Just take those florets off and I'm just gonna chop them down and add them to that. And then I'll add my seasonings in as well. 
not add more than two teaspoons per seasoning, but like I said, check the description box for the exact amounts. So what does that work out to be, y'all, about one or two teaspoons, maybe one and a half, something like that. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit. Mm, that smells so good. So I'm going to let that cook for a minute or two and then I'll taste it just to make sure the seasonings are right. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and work on this pot right on over champ. So I just mostly quartered the potatoes unless they were already kind of small like this. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to the pot. I'm not going to add in my um, corn right now because to the pot because it doesn't need it. It's already, since it's been sitting out a little bit on the counter, it's kind of thawed. So they were frozen, y'all, because it's out of season right now to have corn. So they'll be fine in the oven. They don't need to go in here as a pre-cook. I probably made way too many potatoes for my husband, but that's what it's gonna be. Is this keto friendly? It's not. But you know what? It's the holiday season. I can have one, can I? Get you these right here. And this is the turkey size. That's what you're gonna wanna need. Gonna wanna need. <laughs> and get it, grab you one, open it up, put it in a big old stock pot like this so that it doesn't act crazy on you when you're adding your stuff. Boom, ready. See what it looks like, y'all? So there's the sauce. I'm gonna take my legs. I have mm, a pound of these king crabs. See that, y'all? Look at that. Look, 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 look. Yeah. So a pound of that. Let's put the pot back here. Okay, and I have two and a half pounds of snow crab. Aren't these beautiful? They were on sale, so look out for sales. Mmm, look at that, look at that, look at this. This is what we're trying to do. This is what we're trying to do. Look at that, y'all. See that? Like that, we're gonna let this sit in here for a couple of minutes. If you like what you're seeing so far, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos like this in 2021. Comment and like. All right, y'all, so the potatoes are done. I only cooked those for about five minutes just to get a pre-cook on them. This is the sausage I'm gonna use. This is just a simple, regular sausage. And here's the other one I'm going to use, the Cajun. So a little bit more spicy. So I'll probably use one each of those. We'll see what I come up with and keep moving. All right, let's pile these on in here. That's what it looks like, y'all. Y'all can see it seeping down in there. That's what I'm talking about. And I'm only using this pot so that, again, the um, liner can stay put. I don't have to fight with it. Look at that. Y'all see it? Y'all see it. Okay, look at that. Mmm, look at it, look at here, look at here. Mmm, screenshot it. Yes, sir. Okay, and there's one more little piece in there. I'll grab that and I'll start adding everything else to the pot and keep moving. I forgot to add my lemon to my mixture. That's all right, it's not too late. It's about to work out right now. Go ahead and cut up your lemon because you're going to add this to the pot. I'm just going to cut it into quarters and even the one that you just squeezed the juice out of, grab that too because it still has some goodness left. 
Okay, I'm taking some butter. I don't know how much this is. Maybe about a half a stick, if that. Try not to cut yourself like I almost did there. All right. And I'm going to take a pat of it and just rub it on there, y'all. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. See, this is already starting to get a little, not done, but cooked a little bit once as it was sitting in the skillet. So I'm going to do that, putting it on the meaty, fleshy part. Get it down in there. Add in, add in your sausage. Season up your shrimp a little bit. That you have deveined and whatnot. It's just some lemon pepper. Whatever seasonings you like. Just a couple of them, you know, whatever. Two, three, four, five, whatever you like. Put that in there and dump that in there on top because the shrimp doesn't need a lot of heat going on. Don't take them long, don't take them much. All right, potato time. Throw those in there. I just hit those with a little bit of seasoning salt, pink salt, and lemon pepper. This is another keto-friendly ingredient. This is some butternut squash on the, the green, <laughs> that's a parsley. All right, so I threw that in there, and I'm gonna throw in the lemon. that I cut up earlier, throw that in there. Those leftover pieces of butter that I was using to cap off the legs. All right, I'm throwing in the rest of that stick that was left over. Just throw it on in there, y'all. Get it in there. It'll be fine. You don't have to worry about too much getting it mixed in there and incorporated. Y'all hear that sizzle? Ooh! So this is the part that's gonna make this most extremely special. Right here, this is the butter sauce, y'all, with all those seasonings. Look at that, look at it. Pour it on in there, just get it on in there. There we go, that's better. Let me mix it up a little bit. Get all the seasonings mixed in there really good. See that? Mm. Look at that, y'all, look. mercy and get them all too. get every little bit and the pan it goes make sure you get a huge pan this is the biggest one that I saw at the store it's an extra deep what is this 17 by 12 sit it on in here see that look at that look at this y'all see this wow amazing Oh, and I'm mixing all the juice in there, making sure it all gets incorporated. Everybody gets a touch, some love from that sauce. Yes, y'all see it running? Y'all see this? Look at this. Mm. Yes, sir. See that, y'all? Okay. Put it in there. We gotta seal it up. I'm just gonna tie a nice big old knot. I'm sure there are some twisty ties in there that go with this, but this is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> that way I will ensure that it does not act the fool on me. I don't see any holes poking. Otherwise, I would double bag it if I was concerned about that. You want your juice to remain in the bag. Okay. I made sure to get all the air out. Going in the oven, 25 minutes, 350 degrees. What do y'all think? Yes, this looks so delicious and I cannot wait to dig in. If you plan on making this, let me know down in the comment section. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. I have tons of videos like this on my channel, so make sure you check out the description list. I'll have a playlist for you with all of my keto meals and drinks. Mm -hmm, y'all know what this is. <laughs> If you watch the video, you know what this is. Make sure you come back on this coming Tuesday. I'll have a bonus video for you. I hope that you can make it. It'll be a lot of fun. Here's to a better 2021 than 2020. And I'm praying for those who may have lost friends and family this year due to the pandemic. Hang in there. Okay? Cheers. Happy New Year. See you guys in a few days.